Hello everyone, this is Tyler from THA Coffee. Today I am going to discuss a very um, unknown topic, I think, for most people. And this is the source of um, instant coffee and um, how it's different and if it's better or worse than ground coffee. Um, okay, so um, firstly, coffee, obviously, excellent beverage. It's full of antioxidants. It has many other properties helps um, keep metabolism up, it helps, I think, keep everyone energized during the day, and it has um, it, it has other properties, too, associated with with aging and heart disease and, and cholesterol and, and, and other things. So, the first thing we're going to discuss is um, what is instant coffee? Instant coffee is a dry coffee or is a coffee made from dried coffee extract. And this abstract, this extract is made by brewing coffee, ground coffee beans, similar to how regular coffee is brewed, um, but more in a more concentrated format. And um, all, the other thing here is that um, generally the, the coffee grade, the, the type of bean that's used is generally the the lower quality beans, but at the moment this is changing. They're they're now using much more of the higher grade coffee beans, um, which I think is a phenomenal thing because um, historically, like um, pe people associate like this instant coffee as being kind of nasty, as having just this very like almost bitter, pungent flavor that. It, it is very hard to um, digest, or it, it, it's very hard to um, swallow at times. And I think also, um, on a personal level, I think the whole, like, creamer and sugar and all that, um, like, culture that I guess everyone associates with, like, coffee came came um, with this whole, like, um, like trend of, like, the um, kind of nasty instant coffee, like, and just over time, people began associating, like, the need to use, like, all this cream and sugar, which I myself don't use, like, any cream or sugar in my coffee. Like, um, just because I think coffee is about the coffee. It's just, like, if I eat a steak, I eat it for the steak. I don't eat it for the sauce and stuff. So, I mean, everyone's different. Like, um, I, some people naturally are gravitated to the taste of coffee. Other people, not so much. So getting back to the topic with instant coffee and the um, creation process is after brewing the water is removed from the coffee um, it's or it's removed from the extract to make dry fragment, fragments or powder, um, both of which dissolve when added to water. Now at this point there's um, generally um, two different processes that um, are then um, induced. Um, okay, so th the two are known as spray drying and freeze drying. And, and this is the last process of instant coffee uh, making. So spray drying is um, simply that coffee extra extract is sprayed into uh, thin air, which quickly dries to droplets and turns them into fine powder, powder or small pieces. And freeze drying is when the coffee extract is frozen and cut into small fragments, which are then dried at low temperature under vacuum conditions. So this is, the, these are the two major methods um, for the um, like instant coffee. And um, people might ask, what's better, what's worse? I would honestly say that freeze drying um, generally is, is the better. If, if you're undecided about this, it, it's probably freeze dry is, is going to be the better one. Now we're going to do a little coffee comparison here. And um, so, okay, what's benefits of um, like instant coffee? Number one is the time and simplicity of making this. You can basically make instant coffee within a few seconds. On the other hand, making a, um, a ground coffee might take a few minutes or even 20 minutes, all depending. I mean, um, I typically drink French press, and a French press coffee could take me like 10 or 15 minutes to make in the morning. So in most of the French press um, coffee preparation, 
it is due to the wait time. You have to both heat the water up and then you have to wait for the water to absorb into the coffee beans. And that also takes at least five minutes. Um, so with um, obviously with instant coffee, just simply take the coffee granules and put them into the water and bam, you're good to go. Um, if you're in a hurry to get to work, instant coffee is the absolute, I mean, best option out there. Um, you can't do that with ground coffee. Obviously, um, the very minimum for ground coffee is going to take you at least a few minutes to, to get going. And there are ways, um, there's not like a lot of ways you can beat the whole, beat the clock, so to speak, with with ground coffee like it's not like you can make a ground coffee in a few seconds like you can with instant coffee so it, it's very convenient in that sense um and then um very like simple by the fact you don't have to use a french press or any other fancy machine now number two is actually a big one for the very eco-conscious people and that is waste um when you make instant coffee or when companies make it there is virtually um there's very little waste product um unlike ground coffee where you have to obviously get rid of um most of or if not all of the used coffee grinds once you're done with them um with instant coffee because um because it's a a um your the the grain itself is is absorbing you're actually utilizing most of the coffee so in that sense it's it's an eco-conscious thing um number three is flavor um fresh brew coffee obviously um it, it, i think it's very um like um obvious for other people maybe more subtle um so okay fresh ground coffee or um fresh brew coffee Firstly, um, it keeps all the essential oils and in, in, in chemical constituents intact, which gives it that fuller, more subtle, and not so bitter taste that people associate with instant coffee. And um, because of this also, there's a much larger flavor spectrum that can be generated through um, through ground coffee that is it's almost impossible with instant now that that's changing there there's very um like advanced technology now coming from places like switzerland that are making these like phenomenal tasting instant coffees okay so the next thing um is that um it's the fact that instant coffee uses mostly robusta beans um, which is like the the lesser of the two, whereas the arabica is used. Um, this is what um it isn't used so much in instant coffee. Um, but they're actually utilizing more of the arabica beans as we speak, and and that's why the flavor is the flavor composition is exponentially going up. Now, other health benefits um that you have in in either option are um like the antioxidants um virtually the same another um when the a, a um thing that is is caffeine content of um the caffeine content of um instant coffee is actually quite a bit lower often like half of the content the caffeine content of ground coffee which is actually good for people with heart conditions or other like hypertension issues or anxiety or depression because um like over elevated levels of caffeine is often very um it's harmful for those people now a big thing i think for most coffee lovers that you don't have um or at least coffee lovers that that enjoy the process is the ritual aspect with instant coffee obviously or um everything is kind of already set to go um, you, you don't have like a French press or one of these other devices that like kind of um, where you kind of get to enjoy that part of the process. Um, now, the next thing is probably one of the most important things. And this is why in, in many countries, over 50% of the population consume instant coffee 
and that is the cost. The cost on a hole is um is often quite a bit cheaper for an instant coffee relative to a grounded coffee. Now, people coming from like a first world or um like the um yeah post war um post developed country. Um, it's not going to be like a big issue, honestly, the, the, the cost difference, but people coming from a third world society or, or something, it, it's going, my, my brother lives in Russia, for example, average income is much lower. So you, even something like, um, the difference between a store bought ground coffee, um, in an instant coffee, there's going to be a noticeable difference there in cost and, um, it will affect people's, um, purchasing choices. Now. Um, just going over some nutrient properties of instant coffee. Um, as we discuss, antioxidant very, very um important. Antioxidant is obviously linked to um many things such as heart health. Um, uh, keeping um, uh, keeping um weight at a healthy level. Um, mood and and all that. Um, so th there's um and and then some other things is a boost in metabolism. A decrease in diabetes, um, improved liver health, and mental health, and um, just overall longev longevity is another big factor. So, um, in conclusion, um, regardless of people's preference for instant coffee or ground coffee, instant coffee is quick, easy, and doesn't require a coffee maker. And furthermore, the average or the assortment of instant coffees is going up quite a bit along with the quality and it has a very long shelf life and it's cheaper than regular coffee ground grounds so um for anyone that's like um having to also get somewhere quicker um has work or school a much quicker option to to get that coffee made so um thank you for watching this video and have a good evening.